Y'all, any season is a good season for hot wings, and especially football season. So we're going to make our own sauce. This is my husband's special recipe, and we're going to start off with three tablespoons of butter and a half a cup of hot sauce. We use crystal hot sauce, but you can use any brand you'd like. Add a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of celery seed. We're gonna give this a stir and you want that stove top eye or your burner turned on to about medium. And all we're doing is melting this butter. And then once that butter melts, you just want to cut that off. Just go ahead and cut your stove top eye or your burner off. And let's go ahead and preheat our oven to 325 degrees. I am so picky about my hot wings, but my husband's hot wings are some of the best that I've ever eaten. I really like this hot wing sauce, and I think you guys will too. Now, once this gets done, you're just going to set that aside, and now we're going to prepare our hot wings. And I've got three pounds of hot wings here, and I put them on a baking sheet. You can do this on the grill as well, but if you use a baking sheet, you do want to oil down that baking sheet. And then I'm sprinkling some seasoned salt on these hot wings. Just lightly sprinkling that on one side. I do not have exact measurements for the seasoned salt, but when you sprinkle it on, you sprinkle it lightly because keep in mind it has a lot of sodium in it. Once your oven is preheated to 325 degrees, we are going to set a timer for 15 minutes, put these in the oven after 15 minutes, pull them out, and we are going to flip them over. Once you've flipped them all over, go ahead and put them back in the oven, and we are going to set our timer once more for 15 minutes. Once that 15 minutes is up, we are going to start basting these with our hot wing sauce. And here's a little tip for you, just in case you did not know this, when you're basting, you do not want to paint this on like you're painting. You want to pat this in because it will stick to whatever you're basting a lot better. And now back in the oven we go, and we are going to set our timer for five minutes. After five minutes, get these out of the oven and we are going to flip them over and we are going to baste the other side. Just like that. Then once you have that side basted, back in the oven they go. And again, we are going to set that timer for five minutes. And after five minutes, voila, they're done. Make sure you cut your oven off and these are ready to serve. And if you want these extra spicy, you can double baste them, but I trust me, these are spicy enough for me, and we like to dip them in ranch dressing. <laughs> 